Exactly one year after I quit my full-time job to go full-time on YouTube, this Lexus IS500 F-Sport Performance shows up in my driveway today. Let's do the walk around. We have not seen a V8 in the IS since the retirement of the ISF in 2014. Well, <laughs> we see it again here in this 2022 Lexus IS500 F-Sport Performance. This is the first of its kind meaning there have been no other f-sport performance vehicles before this one we have the f-sport models which are more of a exterior interior trim um, on average you know there, there are exceptions with bigger brakes different wheels etc but anyways <laughs> the f-sport performance model that you see here uh, is slotting right underneath the full f models and the full f models are a little long in the tooth well there's really only one right now and that's the rcf this thing is pretty much an F car, but I guess let's let's go into the details of the IS500. We'll get under the hood after the full uh, walk around on the exterior. Now on the exterior, on the front anyways, look at that hood. The hood is bulging. We have about a two inch hood bulge for the fire breathing V8. And this vehicle definitely looks a lot meaner than the IS500, or should I say the IS350 F-Sport, non-F-Sport performance. You guys know what I mean. As we slide around to the front, uh, there's something that kind of stuck out to me, and that is this right here. There is a silver radiator in there to help with the cooling of this huge V8. So that's a little bit different. I don't remember seeing that on the V6 variants. Um, of course, this has the triple beams, but I believe you can also get this vehicle without the triple beam headlights with the single beams, which are very good looking as well. You can't really go wrong with either. The triple beams are gonna add a little bit more price. Speaking of price, I can't talk about price, guys. I actually don't know at the time of this filming the price and packaging exactly of this IS F Sport Performance. Now, from the side here, we can see some big changes. These are 19 inch NK wheels that are gorgeous. Uh, with the black calipers there. Now we have larger 14 inch discs on the front and we also have larger 12.7 inch discs on the rear. Those are definitely upgraded from the IS350 F-Sport. Now one huge addition to this F-Sport performance and you'll see this on F-Sport models going forward is the omission of chrome around the windows we have this beautiful dark chrome window trim and uh yeah typically we see this on the full f cars this f sport performance is getting it and it's gorgeous unfortunately they didn't give the the mirror the same sort of dark chrome treatment but that won't be hard to remedy here uh compared to the whole window trim uh, you can see that extra camera beneath the mirror. This does have 360 camera. We'll get on the inside. It does some, have some additional goodies uh, that you're not gonna see on any other IS. As we flip around to the back end, you'll see a familiar design cue, and that is a fire breathing quad tip exhaust. The last time we saw this on the IS was the ISF, and it is gorgeous. You see that large IS 500, uh, interesting. You see IS500, guys, this is the first time I've done a walk around on it, by the way, but you don't see any F-Sport badges. So I don't know if that's just gonna be how it is for production, I would assume so. You're not gonna see an F-Sport logo on the back. I mean, the quad tip exhaust is enough, right? <laughs> You're gonna know this thing is a different performance monster, but there is no F-Sport badge on the rear like we see on most other Lexus F-Sport models. Man, the rear end it just looks a little bit wider. I know it's not, but it's, it's just a kind of illusion with this gorgeous cloudburst gray. And this deck lid spoiler is black. It's glossy black. That means to me, we're not gonna be seeing, well, it could be an option, more than likely it's an option, that that spoiler is just plastic, it's not carbon fiber. If you look at the dy dynamic handling package on the IS500, sorry, IS350 F's for performance, uh, you get a carbon fiber spoiler, if I remember correctly, uh, but it doesn't diminish the looks, it just would've been cool to have that. Now, like I said, stay tuned for pricing and packaging. Those will be under embargo until September 10th. So check back on the channel for my full review. And uh, another thing right now, as I forgot to point out, this is a new logo. This is an F-Sport logo, but it has black on the inside. Uh, we haven't seen that before from an F-Sport badge before. Typically they're silver on the inside, if I remember correctly. So that is a little bit different. 
but I think I've gone over everything I possibly can on the outside. Uh, we're gonna head underneath the hood and check out this fire breathing V8. Now I just lifted the hood. It feels very, very light. And here you have it guys, the five liter V8, 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque. This thing hits peak power at uh, over 7,000 RPM. This is a fire breathing dragon and the days of V8s being canceled, or should I say, naturally aspirated v8s especially uh, we have that really cool f sport performance logo right there on the top of the engine cover and just like any other time we see this uh, v8 you see that really cool uh, exhaust manifold on top really really neat gorgeous vehicle inside and out and now that we've gone over the engine yes it's connect connected to an eight speed automatic it's not the beautiful 10 speed that we see in the lc 500 or the ls 500 but the eight speed uh you'll just have to see my impressions on the 10th when i talk about it now getting in the lexus is 500 f sport performance we're going to be greeted with a new intro screen i haven't even seen the new intro screen for this specific model there you have it is 500 gorgeous now this mid back here uh, this is the traditional slidey gauge that we see in a lot of f-sport models and we do have sport plus mode uh eco mode which <laughs> is kind of laughable in a car like this uh and i can't tell you fuel economy or anything like that but yeah it's not going to be great it's a five liter v8 <laughs> uh there's your your uh dials that i was just switching so you can see that i'm on, I'm on the mid here's the 10 inch screen that we see in the is 350 and let me try to get the uh air conditioning blowing down so I don't get too much uh, wind noise. Here is the new F-Sport Performance logo on the bottom of the steering wheel. You have traditional uh, Lexus mats down here and then you have aluminum plates down here in the bottom. Yes, I have flip-flops flip on, it's Florida and your feet get hot down here. Now here's a special present for you guys. Not only do you have active sound control so you can hear that V8 better, pumps it through the speakers a bit, you have a rear sunshade uh, I don't remember if I've ever seen a rear sunshade on the IS before. Well, you're getting that full-on luxury treatment with this IS 500. Uh, again, stay tuned for packaging and things like that, but you guys have a, a rear sunshade in an IS. Never thought I would see it. Um, really, everything else in here with this circuit red material, uh, we've seen before. Now, these aren't fully... Uh, leather seats. These are actually synthetic. They're what they call a uh, Nulux. We have some red stitching here on the dash and these circular vents are new in the 2021 and newer IS whether it's an F Sport or not or if it's an IS 500 or not. Of course this has the Mark Levinson uh, in it which is 17 speakers 1800 watts if I remember off the top of my head correctly. This does not have the new infotainment by the way but that's okay. Apple CarPlay Android Auto is on here. Uh, you can see I've already set my presets uh, for satellite radio. You get the F Sport clock, but really it just feels like a glove in here. This feels very similar to all the ISs that came out in the last, uh, I don't know, since, since 2014. So what's that, seven or eight years? Uh, and the interior is very, very similar going back that far. Shifter is the same, heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. Inside here we have your connection for USB. So that's how you'll plug in your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cup holders. Uh, they have been moved, I believe, in this generation. I believe in the previous generation, they were in a worse space, like back here. You couldn't even put your arm there. Uh, I'll have to fact check myself, but I think I remember it being uh, pretty inconvenient. So let's get out and let's get into the back seat and let's pop the trunk while we're at it. It's a nice Ferrari. Not bad. Not bad. You know, don't we all like the sound of V8s? And getting into the back just a lot of red going on. It's a little overwhelming. There are no uh, plug-in ports back here. Uh, we do have vents, thankfully, a large drive shaft enclosure here at the bottom. Close the door, but actually, since this seat, up is, seat is set up for me at six foot one, you know, it's actually not too terribly uncomfortable back here. You know, Lexus knows how to make comfortable seats. Uh, I, am, I feel a little bit cramped, but the, the back side of the seats are nice and soft. Uh, so I appreciate that. You can see lots of speakers in the door. You have more speakers right back here for that, uh, like I said, I think it's 17 speaker, Mark Levinson. Uh, and if you guys have kids like me, you know, there's not a lot of room here for a rear facing seat, but it is a very well hidden. And that, those are probably the easiest hooks I've ever seen for a car seat to get to. So yeah, if you have to put kids in here, uh, 
getting the seat will be getting in the seat will be, be, be uh, fairly easy getting the kids in and out uh, maybe not so much but let's go ahead and get into uh, the rear here I popped the trunk I'll put up the cubic feet for you it should be exactly the same as any other uh, Lexus IS I don't see any differences with with this trunk here rear seats still fold down that's a uh, nice to see for for added versatility and yes look at this yellow five spoke wheel heck yeah that is awesome Lexus is definitely giving us uh, everything with this IS 500 and that includes a real <laughs> spare tire so I appreciate that with this IS 500 F Sport Performance. And wouldn't be a proper video unless we did a tribute to this V8. Let's listen to that glorious V8 growl, that fire breathing sound. you guys got a better sound of it than I did in the cabin. It sounds good in the cabin, but uh, I'm sure it sounded better next to the fire breathing exhaust. And the Lexus IS500, definitely stay tuned for the channel. I'll give you guys my full review on it, driving impressions. We'll go through pricing and packaging. Uh, but just having my hands on this IS500 is a dream come true. I thank you guys for that one year full-time YouTube. This vehicle shows up. I can't be happier right now. I thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Smash the like button for the IS500. Hell yeah. Peace out.